Why um, this visit in Akeni? Well, I, 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 apart from whatever reasons I came from, I'm a frequent at Akeni. I come here occasionally to see family and friends. But this time I came here to do a press conference, to interact with the media, and you know, a cross section of students about the just release government transition team report and to, sh to also share the recommendations with everybody. Are there plans to make extension of short moves in other places in, within the country? Definitely. This is part of um, a, a, a long process. Yes. Yes, so we, this, this is not the first visit to popularize the government transition team report. We were in Bo, we were in Moyamba, now Makini. What we did here was to bring with um, support from our friend and brother, Sandy Bangura Jr., who are able to have all the journal, all the major radio stations and all the, the districts in the northern province and that was simulcast live, which is really good. So we are able to reach many people in one effort. So this engagement, how would you describe the um, whole process so far in terms of responsiveness? It was a fabulous success. It was a great success. It was very well attended. Um, by people who did not even have invites, but who are concerned about this government's attempt to draw a, a red line under corruption. So they came to support the process. I mean, the clarion calls were ensure that it does not degenerate into a witch hunt, but ensure that anybody who has looted state resources, proven in a competent court of the law, should, should, efforts should be made to recover those resources for the benefit of the country. So what was the take-home message that was not part of the financial report? The take-home message to me and to the rest of those who have had opportunities to serve is that when you get an opportunity to serve, it is a privilege, it is an opportunity. You should not abuse it. There will always be a day of reckoning. Right? And that is going to be my guiding principle in public life. That is what President Bill has enjoined all of us to do. Right? To be responsible, to, be, to bring professionalism, to bring integrity to public life. So that after five, ten years, if they call us to a commission, we will go there always smiling, not attempt to undermine it through um, appeals to sublimia and tribal, regional and other instincts that it, like a group of people are already doing. So finally, Mr. Minister, what are you expecting from the general citizen of Sierra Leone? First, to those who have been indicted and those others who, who, who might be called upon as the investigations proceed. We can just call on them to be responsible citizens, make themselves available to the commission or to work with the Anti-Corruption Commission, the Audit Service, so that their stewardship will be accounted for properly in the right place. So the general citizenry will call on you to continue to support this government. This government is here to scuttle corruption. We are here to eradicate corruption so that money is meant to provide social services for our people will not end up in bottomless private pockets. We call on you to join us in this long journey against corruption. We know it will fight back, but we are, we are banking on your support. We are banking on your, your commitment and your unrelenting encouragement to ensure that none of these appeals to incite tribal hate, to incite whatever, right, will not work. The people of Sierra Leone must win this time. Politicians, self-serving politicians, selfish, selfish and greedy politicians have won for 57 years. This is the day for Sierra Leoneans to win. This is a new direction and the right direction to support. All right, Mr. Minister, thank you very much. Thank you very much.